Hey guys, thanks again for tuning in to Big Sam the Evangelist channel. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. I just want to explain what happened Saturday as I went to the Greensboro Abortion Clinic and preached the gospel to these mothers. And there was a mother who chose life. Uh, specifically, she it was her and her mother were sitting in the car, and they were. Um, I, I was speaking to them with through my speaker as they were sitting there listening, and then they went inside and to grab a ticket. But then they came back out and went to their car and left, and they had tears of joy in their eyes, and they kept baby and I praise God for that uh, here's Isaiah from Love Life he describes it real easily in this quick live stream video hey guys Enjoy. it's a heavy fight here this morning it's the first time uh, in weeks that clinic escorts are back out uh, fighting for people's lives like we've been here fighting for people's lives and you know one of the people that's here praying was a little discouraged that they were out here this morning and I just thought you know it shows us how serious this fight is there, there are people here on the side of, they might not realize it, but they're on the side of death, on the side of destruction, fighting for people's lives at this clinic, pulling them into this place. As cars pull up, telling them, don't stop, don't stop, keep going, mm. keep going, get in there, don't listen to any of these people, don't listen wow. to any of these people, wow. keep going, shoving them in the place. And this morning, we're out here, I'm going to show you real quick, with a small group, we got uh, prayer walkers here, people still Amen. showing up even, Amen. ready to pray God's and intercede. People. The pregnancy unit, the mobile unit is out here, where moms can come and get a free ultrasound. Yes. Guys, I want you to know also, one woman pulled up right here this morning in her car, sat there and listened to uh, a sidewalk counselor over here, listened to um, one of these guys speak to her about how we were here to help her, how we were here to uh, offer her hope in life. She sat in her car. I got to look at her through the uh, rear windshield, smiled and waved at her. After about five or 10 minutes, even after the clinic workers coming out and trying to get her inside, she sat in her car for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, she came out with tears in her eyes and, mm. and said, I'm leaving. Wow. I'm leaving. Come on. I Come on. Come on. I, I, and she Praise gave her God. ticket back. She had a, a ticket that she was waiting for, of being in line here at the clinic. Gave her ticket back, talked to a sidewalk counselor here, got uh, information to be connected, and left. And so we've connected with yes. her. And she's, she's chosen not to kill her child this, this morning, but chosen life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Those things happen here. Amen. I mean, come on. Yeah. Let's, saints, let's celebrate Woo! that all across Amen. the nation. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. <laughs> Someone Amen. that was scheduled Amen. for death got life this morning because Christians Amen. were present. Come on, that's right. And we we carry <laughs> we carry King Jesus with us. Yes. Listen, that's wherever right. we go, Jesus is there with us. He lives in us. And so his presence can move and flow in those places because his people are there. Yes. His yes. people yes. are there. Isaiah, thanks for the update, man. What a great report. We're praying still for all of those that are at that abortion clinic. It's not too late. If you come here for an abortion,
Whether you're facing Georgia, the south or the north, that's where you will fall. Given the, the soul is bent 